Many people think building an undersea tunnel is simple, just digging a passage. In reality, the process is far more complex. Take the Channel Tunnel as an example. It is about 50 kilometers long, with 38 kilometers beneath the seabed. The ground below the seabed is unstable, with loose soil, cavities, and cracks. During construction, small errors can cause collapses or seawater flooding. To reduce these risks, engineers selected a more stable chalk clay layer and carefully surveyed and planned the tunnel route to avoid dangerous areas. The main construction equipment was a large tunnel boring machine. Its rotating cutter head cut through rock and soil, while hydraulic systems pushed the machine forward. To prevent collapse, the machine stopped about every two meters to install prefabricated concrete segments along the tunnel walls. Grout was injected into the gaps to strengthen the structure. This made the tunnel more stable. Compared with land tunnels, undersea tunnels are more likely to crack, allowing seawater to leak in. To control this, engineers modified the machine by adding a chamber behind the cutter head. Excavated soil was mixed with water to form slurry, which was pressed into surrounding cracks during excavation, blocking seawater. Over tens of kilometers of tunneling, precise measurements kept the alignment error within two centimeters, making the project an engineering achievement.